Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a really simple um, get ready with me and I just picked up a few Maybelline products so I really wanted to do like a Maybelline fit me like line thing because I have the foundation here, the Madame Poreless, I have the loose powder and also a couple of the concealers. So I just wanted to go ahead and play with all those. The only thing I don't think I have is the blush. Other than that I think that's the whole thing for the fit me line unless I'm wrong I don't know so I just wanted to do a little get ready with me so yeah let's just go ahead and get started so I have the Maybelline Madame Poreless foundation here and I have the shade 120 the only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a pump because I just don't like having to pour out and then like waste the product but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and play with that though and I'm just gonna start off with my First day beauty primer so let me just put that all over my face I seriously cannot stop watching how to get away with murder I can't I'm only halfway through season four and I cannot freaking stop like I literally had to just like shut my computer down and sit down here and film because I couldn't stop Anyway, so I'm going to pour some out and let's hope I don't waste too much. And I've already used this foundation once before. And it was literally like so flawless. I have like normal to dry skin. And I've been looking for a full coverage foundation that it's not too dewy. So like a little bit on the natural to matte side. And I couldn't find anything that would work for me. I tried the Fenty foundation, I tried the NARS um, foundation, I was looking around for some other ones until I figured I should just give this one a shot because everyone seems to like it, so I need a little bit more. I wish I had a pump, I really do. I mean, I guess I could probably buy one, but it's just so hard, I'm just going to wipe that all over my face. It's so hard to kind of like pour out and I don't know. Anyway. I'm just going to go little by little though. because, And now I feel like I pour out too much. Whatever. I swear whenever I film I forget to do my dark circle corrector first. Like before my foundation. I always forget to. I think this is a pretty decent match. Go around my pimple, and I have too much product on my hand. I wouldn't really say that this is like the most full coverage foundation because I can still see like freckles and pimples and stuff like that. It is pretty good though. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use my next dark circle corrector because I need it. So when I went to Ulta and got the Maybelline foundation, they were having like a buy two, get the third one free for Maybelline products. So I got the foundation, the one of the concealers. I already had the other one. And I didn't know what else to get, so I picked up a mascara. And it's like the same packaging as the Lash Sensational. But the... Instead of having like the curvy wand, it's like a spiky looking one. And I tried it out like on one eye because I couldn't put myself through that. I tried it out and I swear it's probably like the worst mascara I ever tried. I'm gonna give it a second shot because maybe it just wasn't what I was looking for that day. But I just feel like it didn't give me any length and it was like clumping my lashes together. And the formula is like really wet, so I don't know. We'll see. I might just go back and exchange that for something else. Anyway, I'm going to take the concealer in the shade 10, which is light. I'm going to go ahead and conceal. So next I'm going to take a little bit of the shade um, Fair. It's 15. I don't get why... The light one is 10, but fair is 15. I think that's because they came out with new shades. I don't know. 
but I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of it and just pop that in like right here. And I'm just going to highlight my face a little bit. I don't typically do this, but why not, right? So I just take my sponge again. I don't like to bring my concealer down too far. Oh, I look crazy. <laughs> I don't like to bring my concealer down too far, so I just kind of keep it like by my eye area pretty much. But yeah. So next we're going to go ahead with the Maybelline loose powder. I'm just going to take a little bit and set my under eye. I don't really bake my face or anything. I just like to set it. So I just take a little bit of powder on my sponge and make sure I set that. And it really does make my under eyes so smooth. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the flat side of my Real Technique sponge and set the areas where I'm going to be applying powder. So my cheeks... I'm going to do a little bit of my forehead. I guess my chin because I had some concealer there too, but yeah. I never like highlight my face that bright. I'm gonna go ahead and contour and I have the Maybelline. <laughs> this is not Maybelline, this is been a while contour palette. I'm actually gonna be mixing two products for my contour and I'm gonna be mixing the Wet n Wild contour palette along with the NYX blush and taupe. This one's like super cool tone for me and this one, I feel like it's a little bit too warm. Not like bad, but like it's warmer than I would like. Take a little bit of both, but mostly the next one because it's more cool tone. And just at first, just gonna go really gently there. Get my hair out the way. And blend in circular motions. I do think this foundation looks really nice though. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face. And for that I'm gonna be using just my little e.l.f. brush and the NYC bronzer and the shade Sunny. I don't like to go too hard with this one just because it's a little bit more on the warm side. So, just a little bit. And it's, it has like nice pigmentation, but I don't know, it's easy to get carried away with it. So. And for highlight, I'm gonna be using the Becca Light Chaser Highlight, I think, yeah, in Opal Flushes Jade, and I freaking love this highlight. Opal is one of my favorite, I mean, next, after Mary Luminizer, Opal is my favorite highlight, and I love um, teal, so I love that this has, like, a teal um, shift to it, and to start off, I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit more precise brush. I'm just taking it. I just think it's so pretty. I love teal. And this one, I think it's still on sale on the Sephora website for $17. And they also have the other shades, I think, so. Um, for blush, I'm gonna go in with uh, Bobbi Brown. This is so old. I've had this for so, so long. This is the Bobbi Brown blush in the, sh in the shade Tawny. And it's kind of like purpley. So it's really pretty, but you really have to go in with a light hand, otherwise it'll get super, super intense. So this is really pigmented though, so it just I'm gonna go in with a light hand.
I think it's showing up a little bit more intense on camera than in person, but I promise I don't look like a clown. Next for eyes, I think I want to do something with like mustardy tones, like yellow and mustard tones. So I have two palettes that I'm going to be going into. And uh, give me a second. One of them is the Subculture palette that not a lot of people like, but I do. And the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, for in this one, I think I'm gonna mainly using this one for this shade right here. I was thinking about using this one, but I think it's a little bit too brown, so I'm just gonna stick to this yellow shade. And in this subculture palette, there is New Wave that I like, and I'm also probably gonna go into Dawn a little bit. So let's just go ahead and do that right away. And I'm just going like super kind of messy with Dawn on my crease. So it doesn't have to be anything too precise or perfect. So after I do that, I'm gonna, I seriously need to clean my brushes. They're like all so dirty. Um, next I'm gonna take Morphe brush and this is the M505. And I'm going to dip into the Jaclyn Hill palette and use that shade. What is it called? Queen? No. Crimsicle. I'm going to go into Crimsicle and pop that on my crease. A little bit lower than, what I, than where I applied the Dawn shade. And I like to go in circular motions in my crease. Like, I'm no expert, but this is just what works for me. So I like do initial wiper motions and then circle motions. <laughs> and I think I want to build that up a little bit more. So. So I think I got it built up to where I want it. And I'm gonna go into the subculture palette and just, I feel like New Wave is a little bit more orange and deeper than the Crimsicle shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I'm just gonna take New Wave um, and try to build that up a little bit on the outer corner of my eye. Just a touch. And like I said, um, my brushes are dirty, so let me wipe this one off real quick. <sighs> I'm just going to take a little bit. The subculture palette is really pigmented, so you literally need like the lightest touch. I'm just going to build it up in the outer corner. Maybe a little bit into the eyelid too. But I don't want to cover up my whole eyelid, just a little tiny bit. And I want to stick to the mustard shades, so yellow and mustard. And you might think I'm a little bit crazy for doing yellow eyeshadow with like the teal highlighter. But this is not like, the highlighter is not super intense, so it's not like teal in your face. Like, I think it's subtle enough that it goes well with the eye. You can make your own opinion on that. And then, I think I'm just going to keep it like this because I like where it's at. I might just take a little bit more of the crimsicle shade and go over it. Super gently, just blend everything out. This is what it's looking like so far. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna go into subculture and I'm gonna take 
Uh, I'm gonna take Edge from Subculture. Like I said that already. And just pop that in the lower lash line. This is like super yellow. And I kind of want to smoke out the yellow shade. Next I'm going to take my pencil brush from e.l.f. and try to make it a little bit more mustardy than what it is now. I think the mustard got a little bit too orange, but that's okay. I'm taking the creamsicle shade on a pencil brush and just going to run that on my lower lash line. There are freaking squirrels on my roof. And actually, I think I'm gonna take um, Crimsicle and pop that on my lid now that I decided to. I'm gonna go in with another brush because I really wanna pick in that color. And to try to deepen everything up just a little bit, I'm going to be taking the shade Pukey from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to try to run that on my crease a little bit. Like I've said before here on my channel, I'm not the best with eyeshadow. I just try to have fun with it. So... I just like playing with color sometimes. And I kind of want to add some pop of shimmer on the lid because it's looking, I don't mind the matte look, but I think I want something in the center of the lid to make it pop. Okay, so for the shimmer shade that I want to pop in the middle, I'm just gonna go in with Pyramid from the Pyramid palette by Anastasia. And I'm just gonna take that on my ring finger and press that in. Just a touch. And I don't want to put this all over, I just want it in the center of the lid, so. I'm trying to be really careful with where I place it. I don't know why, but I always like applying the shimmer shades with my finger. But I'm actually going to take a little flat brush and try to do it with the brush. I'm taking a little bit of electric from um, Subculture Electric from Subculture has like the coolest shift like it goes from like a yellow to like a kind of greenish teal blue I don't know like it's not quite blue but it does have like a nice like greenish shift I'm just gonna blend that out to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone I'm gonna be taking the second shade from the Jack and Hill palette and that one is Beam. Take my pinky, pop that in. Oh, that's really bright. Um, and then I'm just taking a flat brush that I always use to highlight my brow bone. I just realized that I haven't done my brows yet. I have been here for a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. And mascara and I'll be right back. I just wanted to show you guys the Maybelline mascara that I'm talking about and this is the Lash Sensational Lash 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 again this is so hard Lash Sensational Lashes Full Fan Effect. Okay I can't talk but um I don't know if you can tell all that well but it does get really clumped. This is what the one looks like by the way. Sorry I'm like all over the place but this is what it looks like. It's super weird it has like this weird like spiky things. But I feel like it doesn't really separate the lashes. It doesn't give all that much length and it clumps them together. So I just wanted to show you guys this is no mascara and this is the mascara. So that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna... It doesn't even like look like... I don't know. It's not my favorite mascara. Like what, what is it doing? Um, it is kind of messy too just because the formula is so wet. 
Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do another coat and see how that goes. So for being a mascara that claims that it's going to give your lashes like the fan effect, because that's what it says right here, full fan effect, I don't think that's what it's doing. Um, just looking at the mirror, it, they look so like clumped up together and like I said before, the formula is so wet that it that's what it does. Like it like it doesn't separate the lashes and like it just clumps them up together. So I'm gonna try to get closer so you guys can see what my lashes are looking like. But I don't think they look like a full fan effect like they claim. And I have other mascaras that don't even claim that, but they look way better than this, so I don't know if you guys can see it from the side too. So that's what it's looking like. Not my favorite at all. And I have as much now. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to my other eye and I'll be right back for the lipstick. Okay, once again here with the mascara. Um, I curled the lashes in this eye and you guys already saw that and I didn't curl this eye at all just to see what the mascara would do on its own. And it didn't do much at all, besides making them look clumpy. Like, if I look from the side, can you tell that they're just like straight down? And you can see, it's not like super curling, but you can kind of see them a little bit better here than here. And it's just really clumpy, like I said before. And my brows are not looking like twins, they're sisters, okay? But yeah, I'm not a fan of this mascara. I think I'm going to be exchanging it for something else. I'm going to Ulta tomorrow because I want to pick up something from the sale. So I think I'm just going to be taking this back and exchanging it for something else. I think I would like to try the Maybelline corrector. I think they have like the, in the little pens. So I want to try one of those. So last for lips, I'm going to be using an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. And, and this one is in the shade Starfish. And I'm not sure, I think this is one of the lipsticks that you can only get either at Ulta or on the Anastasia website. You can't get this one at Sephora. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. It's like a really cool tone brown. So this is the final look. This is where all the products look like. Um, I'm, I really love the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. It, I think it's great. And it's like $8, so you can't go wrong with that. Um, the concealer and all is really great. I just, I like how the brown and the orangey tones pair up. So I'm digging it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. So yeah, give the video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. <gasps> We forgot setting spray. So that is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me. I'm gonna just go back to watching how to get away with murder because I can't stop. I can't stop. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.